What's up my dudes, um, this is going to be a day in my life, this is just going to be a few different clips that I'm going to do today, um, right now I am in Pennsylvania and the weather is like very wishy-washy, um, just last week it was snowing and now it is like 70 degrees outside, this is basically just going to be more of a vlog type video, um, I don't really know if this is going to be a, a regular thing, but I'm just going to try out vlogging so y'all like it and if you like it then I'll know if not then I'll just stick to my normal videos but yeah just wanted to put some more content out there also I am working on my bus and I would like to document my journey and I would like to share it with my audience I'm going to show a few different clips right here this is what I want my bus to look like this is my current design that I have um, as you can see everything is pretty suited towards me so me I am someone that likes to sit down and do most of my things so I'll have a large desk that I can do everything in I'll have a bed that will be comfortable that I'll be able to either edit in watch movies in or just like you know bed activities and I want to also have a large kitchen over here so but yeah these are just my ideas for the bus and a few things that I'm going to do um, if you have any comments or you have any suggestions on what I should do differently or just changes that I should do. I am well open to designs. This is probably the seventh or eighth rendition of this bus. Um, and I'm still physically building just the bare basics. So I have plenty of time to change my design and do everything. And if I can have some support, that would be great. Whether you want to like support me directly and like you want to fund some of my bus build. Um, I'll greatly appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm going to do this on a pretty recycled budget. So everything that I'm going to be using, I would either find or it's cheap. Um, if I have to buy my own things, like obviously I need to buy a bunch of wood and a bunch of screws for my basic platform. Um, that's going to be obvious things that I'm going to need to buy. But if someone would like to help me or if they would like to offer up their skills or their services, I'd really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm on a very tight budget, so I'm going to be doing this as cheaply as I can. Um, hopefully the best that I can also, so it's not just a cheap pile of shit. It's a cheap, functional thing, I guess. Um, winter's pretty much almost over, so I don't have to worry about the salt or anything else. Also, as you can see scraped against a car so I need to change this out um, it bent over most of the screw so I'll probably have to try and bend this back so I can get that piece off that was just an external light for the wheelchair wheelchair ramp which doesn't even work so it's not that bad this one actually does work and it didn't come off so that's good I'm going to sand this make sure I get all the extra little things off and then I'm going to repaint it um, also going to check over all the top of the windows make sure everything is sealed properly um, this weather is about to be very rainy and very windy so I'm going to make sure I don't have any drafts or any water coming in through my place okay so on the roof now so water doesn't continue to go down it and 
then eventually this whole thing will be replaced but for right now I just have to solve an issue rather than fix the problem but all that's pretty much done and then over here in between the panels um, the first row and the the first row of screws in between the first one it is leaking water so I'm going to probably go from here take all the caulking from around it and then reseal it with something else I have some self leveling sealer that I got from Walmart that I'm going to be using okay I don't know how long I've been doing this but pretty much got most of it done I just cut it back to here this is actually where the tape is over um, the bar ended up to be right here Some, something something like that um, they just put tape over it and then they didn't put anything else they just put tape um, broke the whole piece off cleaned everything in between here and also like underneath this part um, I'm just going to seal from the inside um, it's kind of cracked over and I can't for the life of me bend that back into the right place so I'm gonna seal it from the outside until I can get it completely taken off. Um, as you can see, the bar completely is separated, like off trail, where whatever was hit right here, the screw. I haven't tried it yet, but it's already like covered up a little bit and it's at an angle, so that's gonna be hard. And then all throughout here um, was dirt and maybe something else I don't know um, down here I don't know if there's anything else but this whole trail probably has something in it just because the top was open and exposed like this on both sides um, where I sealed it is fine obviously but from the top is just going to be leaking water and whatever so it's going to be coming in and from one of these pieces that came off the side it looks kind of green, so I'm assuming there is either mold or some sort of algae growing in between this. So that's going to be a whole nother project because rust is bad for the vehicle and mold is bad for me. So I'm going to try and take care of everything. Um, see a few more cracks and a few more splits all along this. This whole pretty much area is fucked, basically. Um, the other side already did it, um, it's not even bad, all they did was scrape along this, um, both sides, there was no damage leaking in, um, I just scraped it all so it's fresh, and then I used some sealing on it, this is just what I have right now, it's the flex seal, well flex paste, the rubber, um, this is just what I have so far, I actually am going to cover over the whole roof in a tropical and a tropico so it'll help with the sun and also for the winter and sealing it but still need to clean the rest of this and I'm going to seal this and since this project is a lot more than I expected um, I'm just gonna do the best I can right now and then try and get some more supplies when I have money to okay so finish this side um, all I did was use some of the stuff and fill in these gaps a little bit. Um, I just did it with my fingers just because I can. And yeah, all of this has been scraped, sanded, and sealed. Um, this is just the first coat. Once it dries fully, then I'm gonna sand over it again. replace it with another one inch piece of foam once I get the full sheet but I want to make sure um, that wall is taken care of there's also some behind this and on the other side and I'm going to take away this two inch insulation that I put and just gonna put one up one inch up against each of the walls and then put the wall panels I was going to use the two inches but that's a lot and it's not really needed I could just get a better heater also as you can see there's a lot of rust over here 
this was from the well this is from the door frame um, I took that out all I really need is the lock all these cables are disconnected so even if it's unlocked it's not going to sound the alarm but I just have the wires here because maybe I need to use them to route something back here and this is just a good area to have them in um, I was thinking of rerouting one of these wires to a backup camera because I used to have one but it's stuck out underneath the door and eventually after opening and closing it then the wire um, was bent too much from an angle so it stopped working um, this go around I will be smart and actually just drill a hole through the inside and then just seal it around the outside but yeah Okay, so this is my progress that I have so far. Taking out everything over here. Um, there's still a board that's connected over here. I still need to take the final seat out before I can take the bar down through here. So that's just going to wait until I'm done. Um, I sanded and sprayed everything over in this corner. And then across the bottom, I'm going to leave that because I'm going to be making mess anyway. So I don't want to overdo it. Um, spray the frames on this side and also up through the wall there wasn't that much rust um, in either of these places there was a little bit running across here but mainly that's just in between the door and the metal but there's a little bit of collecting right at the bottom so I'm gonna make sure whatever is in this general area is taken care of so it doesn't keep rusting also, there's another leak behind here because it's raining right now and I can feel there's water pooling up down here and it's even starting to drip down right here. So that's for another day. This is all that I'm going to be doing today. Um, but yeah. So this is how we do it off grid. So we just have a large cast iron. We have some ice from my water jugs that were sitting out. We have a cauldron with a bunch of fire in it and a little bit of charcoal. And then we have our bigger cast iron pot thing. And as you can see, fully cooking food on this. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it is kind of smoky in here, but I have vents and shit open, and it's also not that bad. I'm kind of used to it. And this is how we take out the fire once we're done. So, just put a piece of ice again from that bucket. That's going to cool down. And then, this is the bucket that the ice was in. Pour the water on. And then cover it with the 